This cool little device is the Tinder Wick and Bellows from Uberleben. If you're interested in seeing how to properly use one and what it's used for, keep watching. All right, so Uberleben did send this to me for testing and review. I didn't request this. I didn't even know it was coming until it arrived in the mail. So when I opened the package up and saw what it was, I was actually a little bit excited because to be, I have made one like this. I have seen and known the value of these things for some time and made one myself, which I'll show you in a second. But here's one that's already commercially prepared for anybody who either doesn't have the materials or doesn't want to take the time to make one themselves. Let me show you the one I made and tell you where I got the idea from to start with. So I have been keeping this in a little fisherman's friends, like an Altoids tin. So here's the homemade one I made a few years ago. Again, jute wax, that's all it is, is jute wax soaked in paraffin wax, candle wax, green in this, in this uh, example, and a little metal tube. This is about two, two and a half inches long. And I can just push the end of the wick out through the end of the tube, and it works pretty good. Where did I get the idea? There is another Canadian YouTuber who his content is just simply amazing. His name is Winter Trekker. And if you haven't checked out his channel, if you're not aware, I'd be surprised. But if you're not, I am going to put a link up in the corner to his channel. Uh, he does not put out a lot of videos, but the videos he puts out are just second to none. I call them mostly adventure videos. They, he spends three weeks to a month each summer canoeing in northern Ontario by himself. And then each winter he spends one to two weeks snowshoeing through the same lakes area, uh, winter camping in a hot tent. And it was one of his hot tent episodes that he demonstrated one of these devices, used it for lighting his small tent or stove in his hot tent. Now I'm going to put the homemade one aside and just show you a little bit about the commercially made one. So what is it good for? How would you, first off, what is it good for? And then I'll show you how, how it's used. Well, the best way to look at this is like a storm match. Think of it as a, one of those UCO storm matches that will, is waterproof, will burn after it's gotten wet, but this one has an, and is windproof, but this one has an extended burn time, way in excess of any of those storm matches. And that's the way to, the way to think about it. Now, there are two ways of lighting this. Both are perfectly legitimate. I've seen a lot of people using it one way. In fact, Uberlimit Designs shows it using this way. But I'm also going to show you the way that I learned to use it from Winter Trekker. So the traditional way of lighting one of these things is to extend the wick out through the end of the bellows. Oh yeah, that's what they call that tube, by the way. When they say tinder wick and bellows, this is a three inch aluminum pipe, six sided piece of piping that you can use for blowing concentrated air into your fire if it's struggling and need a little extra help. But the primary use is for snuffing the wick. So let's extend the wick out through. The trick to lighting these things is, is to get a good fluffed up end on them. So take your time, don't, you know, short step on this one, get a good amount of the jute all fluffed up. And the jute in the Uberlimon one is soaked in a material, I'll put the name on the, on the screen because it escapes me, but it's a type of paraffin wax that is proprietary to them. Uh, I quite like it. It's not as waxy feeling. It doesn't look like, feel like it's going to melt if you carry this in your pocket, uh, but it is infused nicely into the wick. So you can see what I've done is I've done a really good job of flaring up the end of it, made it nice and fuzzy. All right, let me get my ferro rod out. So I have my ferro rod, rod, of course, on the end of a cord. So the one way that I see most often to use it is to take your tinder wick and lay it down on the ground and then just strike and it lights right up, as you can see. And that works perfectly fine, works just fine. The way to extinguish it, and then is to pull it back inside. And now it's extinguished, and the end of it is kept safe, and it won't get anything messy, and it's waterproof, so I can put this away for future use. Now, let me show you the way that I learned to use it from Winter Trekker. So, why would you use it any other way? Well. Right now I'm working here on some nice dry granite rock. And uh, so that was fine. I can use it here like that. But let's say I was in about two feet of snow and I was trying to get a fire going or I'm inside of my hot tent and I've got my floor covered with a lot of uh, combustible materials or materials I don't want to see get burnt. Then I, I want to try another method of lighting this that is uh, a little safer. So what I'll do is I'll take the striker 
with my fluffed up wick on the end of the striker, I'll hold it there, get it positioned correctly, and then I'll just run the ferro rod down the side of the striker. And it does exactly the same thing. It lights it up just nicely. Now I'm ready to use it. So here's the cool thing about these. You can see, now I've used this quite a bit, by the way. Um, these are 13 inches, the wick is, the 13 inches when you get them, and you can get replacements from Uberlimon as well. They have a burn time rated at one hour. So that's a lot of opportunity to get your fire started. So if you've got questionable tinder materials because it's very wet in the woods and you weren't able to get birch bark like I'm so fortunate to have here in Nova Scotia, then you can get your materials and stick this in underneath their materials and leave it there for an extended period of time, like a fire starter, like a commercial fire starter, that'll heat up the materials, dry it out enough until where it combusts, and then once you've got a little bit of a sustainable flame going in through your tinder, you can take this out and snuff it out. Now, before I snuff it out, here's what's cool about this. It's almost perfectly windproof. Now, I suppose if I come onto it hard enough, I could get it to uh, go out, but just waving it around like that, you can't do that with a match or your Beck lighter. So it's pretty good that way. It's windproof. Now, let me just extinguish it. Okay, so I just blew this out. It is cold. I'm going to dip it in water, get it good and wet in my billy can here. So if you were to drop this or you, you got wet in your pocket or you dropped it in the snow, the wax does keep the end of it waterproof. So really, I need to kind of dry it off just a tiny bit, but fluff it up again. Get a good fuzziness there. Sometimes the first strike doesn't get it because there's still a little bit of residual wetness, but there we go, second strike. So you can see the wax seals the fibers of the jute twine, keeping them waterproof. This will help a lot to get that tinder lit and going. All right, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to light this up and uh, put my, my fire together and get some lunch going. So the Tinderwick and Bellows from Uberlieben makes a great storm match. It really works well for getting fires going where your tinder is a little bit suspect or you don't have any birch bark or any other combustible materials. You can get this lit even after it's been wet, even in the wind, and you can get it under your suspect materials, leave it there long enough until they start going. Uh, yeah, it's handy to have. I'm going to keep this in my fire kit because it is just that handy. Yes, you can make one. But, uh, you know, for the cost of these and the effort you'd have to go through to make one, why not just buy one from Uberlieben? Okay, that's all I have for you today. I'll leave the links in the show notes below where you can purchase the Tinder Wick and Bellows. But until I see you again, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.